Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, you know, cool stuff that's been happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender as an app itself. And this week, we're going to kick things off by talking about Blender 2.9 that is presently available and officially here for your use. So Blender 2.90 was released on the 31st of August. Contrary to the 26th of August, that was the predefined date. This was due to some showstoppers and of course we've talked about this and we actually did an extensive video covering most of the features that are now available in 2.9. Now, talking about things that are available in 2.9, there are a couple of things that we actually felt was going to come over to 2.9 but presently they are now shipped over to 2.91 and some of these features include the add primitive or the add object which is not here in the 2.9 but this is going to be coming with 2.91 so for those asking where it is you can find it yep this is not going to be here you might have to wait for 2.91 for you to be able to see this something else which is also supposed to come over is the vertex skull i did talk about this particular one and yes a lot of people actually wanted to see this but it is not going to be coming over to 2.9 it is actually coming over to 2.91 and for 2.91 you have to activate this by going over to edit go over to preference and within your preference you need to make sure that you have your scope versus color turned on in 2.9 this is not a feature that you can get so the cloth feature is actually one of the most exciting feature for almost everyone that is using blender but unfortunately you will not be getting the collision with this release of blender you might have to wait for 2.91 to get this one going so if i simply select a cloth right now and go over to the tool section i can scroll all the way down and you can notice we have enable collision while in 2.9 that is a feature you might not see land pr is also something that was teased but this seems to be under development right now and it actually isn't going to be available with blender 2.9 rather you might also want to wait for 2.91 to see this one happening but there is actually something that is available for 2.90 that you might want to take a look at so if you go over here to where you have the blender icon and click on the splash screen of course you can see this very lovely splash screen you can actually go over to the link which is going to be in the description and you can download this and kind of play with it i mean this is pretty cool and a huge shout out to daniel by Stedet for making this one available the guys at blender foundation has actually released their open data tool so right now if you would like to benchmark your gpu you want to you know test out stuff with your cpu and stuff like that there is the blender 2.9 benchmark available so you can actually test run this and see how your cpu and also how your gpu simply holds up and while we're speaking about rendering, the guys at Pixar just teased and also showcased RenderMan 24.0 for Blender. This is actually, you know, pretty interesting owing to the fact that there are uh, huge, huge, you know, films and stuff that they have used RenderMan for. And right now, if you want to get the one that is currently available for Blender 2.79, you can actually go over to the GitHub link, which is going to be in the description, where you can download the RenderMan for Blender, which is the RenderMan 21.5. But let's talk about the RenderMan 24. This is definitely going to be extremely nice. So over a period of time, they've added a huge set of features that we will be seeing with the brand new version that is coming. So this new version, which is the RenderMan 24, is going to be supported or is currently, you know, being test out and, you know, being test run with Blender 2.83. And it is coming with things like the Scene Graph API, and it's also coming with the Render to Viewport, a Texture Manager, Improved AOV Manager, Light Mixer Panel, which is something we presently don't really have directly in Blender. There is also a Pattern and Illumination Baking feature that will be coming. These, among a the huge list of things, are things that they've teased. So I'm also gonna put a link in the description where you can rewatch this webinar, just in case you wanna get some full idea about things like this there were a couple of questions answers were given so one of the questions was if this is going to be free or you know if it's going to be paid stuff and render man itself as a tool 
is for free so you can actually download it because the host of the webinar did say that this tool will also be set as free and open source for anyone who wants to play with it of course this is built with python based api so developers who you know are excited about coding can go through and start coding things and they're also looking at ways where cycles materials will be converted for render man but right now the conversion process is not exact from cycles over to render man there was also a couple of t's where they talked about a snapshot button which you can actually snapshot your viewport save it so that you can have a couple of iterations they also talked about the llama kind of material system that they're coming in with and for sure this is going to be in beta within december 2020 and they are actually looking forward to release the final version sometime next year and since we're talking about render man and also talking about renders redshift for blender is you know within the works so you probably don't know about this one or maybe you do but right now there is an active development that is going on with redshift for blender i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can find the trello and read up some of these things as you can see from here they are looking forward to a couple of things which include you know things like particles depth of field tessellation tessellation object property displacement instancing IPR and so on and so forth so right now the feature targets are being completed gradually and it's just exciting news to see that we're having some of the major rendering engines shipping over to blender whether redshift is going to be free or not is something we don't know at this point but it's just pretty cool to see that right now they are working on several stuff that we would be able to see so with all of this said let's talk about some new improvements and also awesome new features that are definitely making their way to blender 2.91 not major updates owing to the fact that in the previous week and the week before that there was consistent updates consistent bug fixing for the release of blender 2.0 so hopefully you know the development team is going to pick up steam and we're going to see more updates come over to blender 2.91 by next week meanwhile in blender 2.91 there is an update to the boolean tool so if i simply select an object like this and let's go ahead and make a copy drop that right over here and simply select this go over to where we have our modifier and let's grab that boolean right here you would notice that we have exact and you know fast i can literally select this and select this particular one you can also notice that we're having that boolean thing going now you might not notice a huge difference if you're actually not seeing things from the technical side of things but with this brand new solver overlapping geometries are definitely going to be handled way better which includes overlapping edges and also co-planner faces something else which is also here is confusions about what is inside or outside a particular geometry is what they are trying to eliminate and they are actually trying as much as possible to clean these things up some other cool feature that is also here in blender 2.9 is your ability to go over to the object section and hit the cleanup so what this cleanup would do is you can now easily clean up on used material which is definitely going to take out all of the materials that you have in your scene that is occupying spaces and you don't necessarily want it's going to clean them up you can also clean up things like your vertex group weight and of course if you're coming from Maya you might probably have seen this as this is known as the optimized feature that exists with Maya I can't wait to see this get better and better and grow into you know a very cool optimizing tool that you can actually use right here in Blender and while we're talking about something new Ellie Mikkel has teased out this splash screen so he's actually you know calling on the dev team to take a look at what he is proposing and see if it is something that can be implemented in blender this is very close to something that williams teased some time ago and if you want to see more about this i'm going to put the link to this particular splash screen design that was proposed for blender 2.8 and of course, I would like to know what your thought actually is about this one. This was, you know, William's initial thought, and this was for 2.8. And right now, we're also seeing that Ellie Mikkel is also teasing something like this. So would you prefer a splash screen like this or the default splash screen that we have? Of course, I know for most people, this might save some time for switching. And I guess since Blender is evolving, this isn't going to be such a bad idea. And before we go, let's take a look at something which I did talk about earlier when we did the release of Blender 2.9 video. I said I was going to go through, you know, play with some of the plugins that I already have. 
and tell you guys which of them are 2.9 compliant and you know so that just in case you want to make purchase so first things first i did try out this particular one the auto rig pro so the auto rig pro is 2.9 compliant and actually they've written this one here you can literally go into blender right now and start working with this once you go through and purchase this and of course if you're thinking about how you can work mixamo style you want to rig things really quick and easy then probably you should take a look at the auto rig pro some of our cool ones is from our guys at polygonic so these are the ones that i've tried so far so polygonic the render manager add-on render set is awesome and it's working the traffic car library is working the botanic is working the material and also the material leak is also something that you can literally purchase right now and get started with in blender 2.9 of course they've not updated this right here and at the same time i don't think they have updated this one but it is working and just in case you're you know feeling excited about them you can go through and get these things and start working with them one more that i also tried and he did put out a statement is from scatter so bd3d has also you know started working on some modalities of fixing some few few hitches that are coming up with the 2.9 update you know this works and if you're thinking about a tool that you can use to scatter things across you want to make some nice vegetation you have some trees you want to scatter them or you just want to use some of the trees and some of the tools that comes with this and create that amazing landscape then you should consider getting this i'm going to put links to some of the add-ons that i have tried some of the add-ons that we've tried on the channel and also the links to everything that i've talked about in the description so you can go through and check these things out and that's definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about all of these things I've talked about today in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from it, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with your tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.